Now let me get Chronicles loaded up. I can talk about that a bit <laughs> as well because I've been trying this the last couple of days as well. Just see how it is. Um, yeah, so Chronicles is basically Sky Arena. <laughs> it's, yeah, just think, like, Chronicles is, like, think one-for-one one Sky Arena, um, except it's, like, an attempt at a mobile MMO. Um, yeah. It's kind of weird. I actually think it's an improvement on Sky Arena. It, it's, I like it more than Sky Arena. Just the way that it works. But, I tell you what, it has a lot of menu bloat. Like, there's a... I'll, I'll show you guys. It's disgusting. It, it is actually oh kind of disgusting. God. Did this not capture? Why is it not captured? I had it... Oh, wait. It is captured, but it was hidden. You haven't seen any gameplay? Difficult mobile MMO? Yeah. Um, okay, so... I'm gonna talk about this quickly. Just before I log in. So these three summoners, right? Um, you pick a server, okay? And then you pick a summoner that you want to play, which is probably going to be your main, whichever one you probably prefer. Then you'll play through the game, doing the primary main quest, and you'll get some side quests that pop up, and they're both going to give you resources, right? Including like, uh, one of them gives you like a water vagabond in Act 2. Uh, which is just a free four star unit then they give you resources to help level that unit up because act two is like fire monsters and stuff right what you can do as a as a free to play is you can level the other two summoners and then you'll get the same reward however because progress for your monsters trial of ascension your general like account on this server it's all like account-wide progress, right? So you've gone through on your main character, collected a bunch of rewards, cleared a bunch of one-time uh, dungeons, events, whatever, right? And that's all added to your account that's on the server. Then you can go back through with the other two summoners for your primary and side quests. And as they level, they'll also collect the exact same rewards as your first character. So I can get the Water Vagabond, level him a bit using the, um, whatever my main character is. And then I can get another Water Vagabond and another Water Vagabond. You basically get triple the rewards if you level all three of the characters. But what you, and what you can do is you can go through normally with your main character, right? Just play for the campaign, however you please, up until maybe you get stuck a little bit. Then you can go back and just skip through all of the cutscenes and dialogue, just you just spam the F button and it just skips through everything really quickly. It auto plays the quests for you and it runs from place to place automatically for you. So you just have to check it every now and then, make sure that you've selected a new quest and it'll go on its way, merry way for you. And then voila, you've gotten, you've basically tripled your resources if you just take a little extra time as like a player slash free to play player. And uh, yeah, it, it is. I was like that. I kind of like the. Uh, uh, what's the what's the right phrase for it? I don't know. I guess it's kind of user friendly slash free to play friendly. <laughs> it's it, the ease of doing it, right? To get extra rewards. I am confident. And yeah, something I like about it. <laughs> uh, definitely, definitely a positive for the game. But I also like how smooth the game is. But um, yeah, when we get in to the game, uh, you'll see it is very menu bloated, right? Uh, it's a bit... Uh, the controls are pretty shit, like the controls feel clunky. And then you see, like, look at this, like, yeah, like, it's like um, World of Warcraft rating, right? With all your, your, it's like someone loves spreadsheets and here we go. Look at all this. <laughs> Yeah, so like the, you don't have to worry, like these are automatically used. This is your synced character that if you're in a manual dungeon, you have to use her manually. The other two will still be automatic. You can swap between them. Um, whatever's synced in a, when you're manualing, you have to use their skills. Plus you have to use um, your own skills like so. There's a dodge, which is kind of useless anyway. 
Uh, let me see here. Let me go back to her. Uh, there is a ultimate that never really gets used unless you use it. There's a jump. <laughs> uh, and then there's menus. Menus, menus, menus. Uh, your summoner has skills. Hang on, let me go. Enhance skill, right? Uh, it's a lot to take in when you're looking at it for the first time. For sure. Just think of it like Sky Arena. Uh, and then we're going monster skills, right? So like, here's a nice clean Sky Arena monster skills kind of interface. Level up. Uh, max level reached. How about her? So like, here's some, you know, really probably familiar looking stuff with your XP and stuff. Look, I can make it 59, not 69. Uh, hey, uh, skill ups, enhanced skills. You can check what they're going to be. Uh, enhanced skill, you can use dupes of the character or you can use like, well, for her, Devilmon, I guess. But for like, yeah, for like this pixie here, right? Um, auto select. You only have to summon the monster once and you just get these shards. And boom, skill up. Boom, skill up. Uh, boom, skill up. Nothing's going to my bus defense. Like, I like how I've maxed these and not the one I wanted to max. And ta-da, there you go, right? Uh, how about this guy? Yeah, look, we got a couple more Garudas. Boom, skill up. Boom, skill up. Uh, evolution, same as usual. We've got some... Oh. Uh, we've got some Devil... Uh, Angelmons. And then Awaken. I haven't actually unlocked the Kairos dungeon yet, but I'm actually pretty close. Who are having awaken? I'm I'm trying to awaken her first, as we can see. Let's see, we got enough, so we'll just go boom. There you go, get some extra stats. Off we go, right? Uh, so like you know, like I said, same old summoners war. Um, skills are a little different for each character. Like um, vagabond is a natural four star, and a few other monsters. But if you look at their skills in general, you'll see like uh, let's see, awaken skill. There we go. Um, they have basically one for one the same skills. But it, it's a lot, like there's a lot of, there's a lot of menu to take in. There's a lot of bonus stats from various things. Like I think like this Mimic, uh, I think it's like the more of these I summon or capture or something, then I get like, look, Fire Monster plus one attack. Just by level, like look at this, level 14 of this Mimic is Fire monsters plus 16 attacks, so it's like stats for just collecting monsters as well. This guy doesn't. Oh, he does get something, I guess. No, it's just fire. Mon I think it's just book effect in general. Fire book in general gets leveled up, and away it goes. But yeah, it it is summoners war through and through. Uh, you auto on both. Something I do like somewhat so far is the arena to an extent uh let me do a little cheeky refresh and uh let's see about this guy uh we'll just give him a battle all right he's got a couple archers what i like is the ai um of your monsters and your summoner they do different things based on what type they are so like the archers will try and uh dodge away from melee monsters and other things right to stay out of stay at a range and the uh assassin here they'll actually go after prioritize archers and mages that are sitting in the back the warriors and stuff i guess obviously will just try and head on charge you things like that right so it's something to take note of for the ai in general um i actually just have three supports so <laughs> i have like two healers and a defense buff but i don't know i kind of like the um top down kind of like combat view we've got going on here again though the ui is very bloated oh wow yeah i just got fucked up never mind they have some good dps <laughs> i have good heals though look at it look at that boom heal straight back up let's go he's got a nice couple of uh high dps units that uh i don't have to worry too much about i guess look at that pew pew we got him come back baby this guy's still got a lot of HP. What's going on here? That fire monkey king. Dang. 
Uh, that's like saying Anno won't bully people. I mean, sometimes. I may have had chips while I was waiting for my food. I had chip appetizer. Are we talking hot chips or regular chips? So there we go. His summoner's down. I just gotta finish his Monkey King off. Full support team, baby. Let's go. <laughs> but yeah, so like this... Um, you can actually like click on this thing. Where are we? No, I'll click on this. And then look, it shows me all of the shit that's on him. Same with like buffs. Oh, uh, that, it wore off as I went to click it. But yeah, any buffs on my team, I can like click on things and... I don't know, you you basically get all of the info. This, this is like a spreadsheeter's dream. So it's Sky Arena, but MMO. Yeah, like this is basically Sky Arena with a ton of improvements built into the game, in my opinion. Because it, like, it works, or it all works pretty much the exact same. It's just like a 3D MMO instead. Um, also, if you have, yeah, like this is a good example. If you have a high enough uh, combat rating, you can just quick battle. Boom, done, I win. Like, see how convenient that is? You can you can just like, bam, bam, bam. Look, there's another one. Boom, quick battle. Look at that. Ta-da. Um, you can buy recharges and stuff. But I do like that. Right, that's nice. I feel like, uh, I feel like Skyrim is probably going to get a lot of this implemented at some point. Um, but yeah, I haven't gotten super far in. But I do, I actually do like how they've got the arena set up to an extent. 2A is pretty cool. The dungeon raids are kind of cool. I can't go into this one anymore to show you, but look at it, look, look. You just get the four, you just get four star gear. Boom, four star gear from this chick. This guy gives two stars gear and yeah. There's five star gear, boom, done. Uh, Rift and Seal, I'm not too sure about, but yeah. So far, it, it's, I have mixed feelings because obviously the UI is like, I feel like this game, if you like Summoner's War and you like going in, doing your runes, oh yeah, rune page. Um, boom, energy, guard, blade, rage. I can click, uh, hang on. I, I can click on the empty slot. Hang on a second, let me find an empty slot then. Here look, I can click on the empty slot. Boom, there's all my six runes. Here's all my uh, one runes. I can unequip. What do, what do I do there? Hang on. Equip. Unequip. Removed all, all equipped runes. Boom. Just like that. Uh, no violent. No violent runes. There's assemble for precision. Foresight for evasion. They do have evasion. So they have um, lost centuria evasion, I guess. Because I'm pretty sure evasion was in centuria, I think. They have attack speed. Uh, accuracy rating. Attack speed is... I feel like if you build an attack speed team, it's pretty good because like auto attacks are a big part of your damage outside of your skills, right? Um, but yeah, like th there's a lot of convenience in this game. Uh, so if like if you like Summoner's War, you'll actually probably like this game once you get like a few hours into it and like you unlock your shit. The summons are pretty neat too. Let's do like, here look, I've got three water scrolls. Boom. I, I like, like, I think the summoning screen's pretty cool. This is just a three star. What does attack speed even do in this game? I think it's for like auto attacks. Cause like you have like your normal attack that just auto swings for you. I think it's for those. Oh, four star. No wait, never mind. Never mind. That was the up beam, not the down beam. So like Vertifile, uh, Vertifile is really good because like because your skills have cooldowns right and a lot of them are like 24 to 30 seconds or 15 seconds. Hey, there's a four star. So um, while you're waiting for your cooldown, hey, nice Epicon Priest. You details, Awakening Transformation, and then you get to see the skill right there. Notice how smooth this is too. Like the game is just smooth. Everything I do, there's like no delay really. And, and it's just, I don't know, like, I, like I said, I have mixed feelings, but the game is like, if you like Summoner's War, there's a lot here that is like pretty good. You know what I mean? Like, it's just, when we're talking MMOs, I think 
World of Warcraft spreadsheets mods covering your entire screen. Because <laughs> it has a DPS meter too, by the way. Look, this is my horned frog. You can just skip everything too, by the way. Look, F to skip. Done. Look how fast that is. Look at these flowers. They do poison damage. They have similar stats to like three stars. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you could succeed with two stars in this game as well. Uh, book. Let me see. Claim. My level book. My level of book has increased, which means my combat rating has increased too. So I don't know. Uh, what's this? Guild contribution. Like that. You get a Wheel of Fortune here. This is our spin each day. It's part of the guild. Uh, monster. We just got a four star. So there she is there. Oh yeah, look. I, I actually managed to summon uh, a good example here actually. Uh, you'll have a look. His two skills. Uh, he does recovery based on defense. Recovers the target's allies HP. And uh, recovery based on defense uh, recovers HP of nearby allies. And then the attack is whatever. So you just stack defense on the guy and he'll heal like in the same way he does in Sky Arena. Like they, they've basically tried to go like one for one on how the skills are in Sky Arena. So like Pixie, attack up and defense up. Uh, attack down, applies defense down if attack only hits one enemy and attacks the enemy target. Uh, Garuda does, um, instead of a full cleanse, there's a heal for nearby allies and removes electric shock. So, so they've kind of spread out the um, harmful effect removal across a few units. Uh, there is like, I think, excuse me, I think the mermaid, for example, in the awakened form. Um, let's see, she applies immunity there. Recovers HP, decreased skill cooldown, and applies immunity if target is a team member. Okay, so not this unit, but there is like a, a couple units I saw that do just like cleanse, period. So there are a couple like that. But yeah, like it is very, like, the skills and everything are just kind of trying to be one for one from Sky Arena to here. I feel like this is basically uh, Summoner's War 2. And uh, yeah, that's, that, that's my quick kind of first impression slash rundown on things and how you can go about getting like uh where are we if we go in here they got the adventure book the area dungeon these are like account wide right look they give you these free units these are all free you just go and do the quick side quests and you'll get every single one of these look that's a uh, wind penguin skill cooldown reduction because uh, remember, like some of your skills are like 30 seconds long, right? So you get like uh, Mer Fire Mermaid there is like 40% skill cooldown reduction. Uh, Summoners can also have a little bit. Uh, the Garuda has like 20%. I'm not sure. I can't remember if uh, Wind... Uh, if Mav does. I just... Let me see. Whoop. Click on him quickly. Um, go to 9. Click on him. There's, there's a skill. Uh, he gets skill acceleration, so whatever that does, I'm assuming it helps the cooldown reduction. Um, they have a ton, like, look at all this event stuff. It's just nuts at the moment. Seven days of logging in, and... This is what I mean by, like, there are menus in menus on menus. Look, I'm gonna get a free Mystic Scroll just for beating these raids a few times in a row. Uh, each day or whatever. They, they have a bunch of battle passes for different things. Like they have a PvP battle pass and a PvE battle pass, and I think there's another battle pass. Like, they, yeah. I I don't know about like look but account level up pass, summoner level up pass. Like it's a bit it's a bit yikes, right? They have a lot of monetization in the game. It's gonna be pay to win at the end of the day. I think in the end of it. But as far as just playing through it and succeeding in PvE, definitely, definitely doable. Especially since you get, um, here's your daily challenges stuff. Weekly challenge stuff. Um, there's your summoner's pass. Where was the, um, I'm trying to remember which menu it is. If I go quest, yeah, here we go. The, not, I haven't unlocked that yet, I'm almost there. There's area exploration. Look at this Devilmon for Act 2. 
you can get three Devilmons. If it's because of what I was saying earlier about how like you go through with your main, then you do these side quests, right? So you see these story one, story two, and you get all these rewards, right? You get these different rewards for these each of these side quests. You can do these, like look at that, that's all guild coin. You can do them on all three, and then boom, account wide. Yeah, this is what I mean by the menus, right? It's insane. Um like even these starter ones, like look at this, there's a, a mystic scroll right there. Um, they give you like a water scroll there. Chris, there's 300 crystals that you can get. And you, that means you can get 900 crystals by leveling all of the summoners. There's uh, you get four, four star uh, rainbow mon. So you can get 12 of them. And because you can just skip through everything. Um, your primary quest and your side quests. So these area exploration quests for each area. Um, boom, easy. And then um, if you go see this map, there's actually like six areas to unlock, which means there's six, where is it? Hang on, sorry. Uh, quest, area exploration, um, other areas. So there you go. There's actually six locations, to uh, six of these side quests uh things with a whole just ton of rewards obviously getting better and better as you progress through the story game etc and yeah it, it, and you can do that on all three of them so you can take your time on your main character and then just like blast through uh when you like talk to people like uh let's see here we'll go into silent cave here We'll get started quickly and um yeah i'll hit the uh f key a lot and we'll skip through everything follow us here well Let's see it doesn't matter we don't know Maybe blah 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 gather to be used in skip times like this. done uh creatures in the cage become increasingly violent when there's a suspicious being however the creatures will get scared and calm down if you quickly defeat the creature creatures or approach approach the cave so the first time you do a dungeon you have to manual it and then uh, you can just auto it every other time. Are we gonna beat him quickly or what? Probably. I've heard that the He's so mad. The <laughs> and uh, yeah, I'm assuming that. So I'm assuming. See that uh, my C is just glowing and lit up. That's just like your normal auto attack. So uh, I'm assuming that attack speed is really good for that. Skip, skip. I can't really skip the dungeon bit. Uh, talking, but for all of the quest dialogue, when you go and talk to dudes in town, you can just spam F and done. The in the cage become quiet <laughs> caring ghosts. Enemies in the area. Can I do this? Let's just hit F on him. Scaring the desert ghosts. There we go. Ta da! Insufficient range. Insufficient range? How dare you! I don't know if I should do anything about those. Watch out for bombs. Ghosts won't wait if they're stimulated aggressively. I can just I can just go and uh, do this. Bombs will destroy creature cages oh yeah, some of these dungeons do have um chests in them. And there's a good chance Oh, okay, well that didn't work. There's a good chance that they won't um Yeah, that you can miss them. It is quite easy to miss the chests if you're just full on autoing. Uh, and not paying attention, and then like it's a one-time clear for these uh, manual runs and such, or the um, what are they called? Yeah, he'll die. Whoop! I didn't want to exit, so we'll have to wait till we clear this. Kill this guy. Yeet! Like the evade is more useful for uh, getting around than anything else. Oh no. Oh no. Unable to use. Quick. Stimulation. There we go. Boom, baby. Unable to use. And then here we go. So there's the quest and then F F F F. See that? See how quick that was? That so you can just you can just spam through quest 
dialogue, like it's not, like it's not even there. You just spam the F key, boom. The slowest part of going through the main story is doing the um. Uh oh. Is the manual stuff, which isn't too bad. Uh, honestly, once you've when you've already played through it once, it's not too bad to just skip through literally everything else to get all those free like easy other rewards for the summoners. Is what I'm trying to say. Kill this desert ghost. Ta-da! Hey, did we get him? Uh oh, what's he doing? Yeet! I'm silenced or something. Okay, there we go. Guess I was messing around too much. <laughs> There's the leader. Now I think that when you sink, the mana is only used by the synced unit, by the way. I think these two use mana of their own, uh, whatever, thing. I could be wrong though. There we go. Oh, he's got a bunch of two star crap. And voila. And then look, it just automatically runs to wherever. Gonna do the thing. Now it, I've got it on auto chat, right? And they'll do the, the they'll have it up long enough to have it auto through the text for you. So you just AFK, let it carry you to the next quest location, or you can sit there and you just spam F. Aura of Rebellion has been unlocked. Go. Oh, this one. Okay, that's fair. Uh, let me see here. Uh, new side stories. There we go. And I've leveled a little. New side stories. So there you go. Then I can just do the side stories. Uh, easily collect the, the just spam F. Don't have to read any of this. Uh, carries me to the next guy. Starts talking to him automatically. I sit here. I spam F. Talks to the next guy. Sit here. Spam F. Boom. See how quick that is? Look, and you can do that on your side characters and just get a bunch of resources. Uh, yeah, I don't know. It is what it is, right? That's how it feels right now. Uh, let me mark of that. I'm actually just going to chuck that whole section on YouTube <laughs> later on. But I feel like it's good exploration. Ex explanation. Let me see here. Uh, now let me actually check all this shit that I picked up. <laughs> so 300 gems, so that's account wide, and the others are gonna be like not account wide. Uh, auto equip? No, because that's plus four. No way. All right, let me see here. I got mail. Oh, look, the login rewards. Fog. This for? Wait, they have food in this. Crit de look, 30 minute duration. 20 second cooldown, and it buffs your crit damage. So that's an interesting little addition. Um, Seven skill points, what do we want here? Hmm, I'm gonna do these. Oh, that was expensive. All right, let me see here. Like, like there's things about Chronicles I actually don't mind. It's like, it's just, it's menus, menus, and menus. It's just so many, you're just gonna spend your time in menus. However, how do I change to my units are attacking? Um, I haven't quite figured that one out yet. I know that we have this focus button so we can target ourselves, but I'm not sure what the, like if there's a command to make our AI units specifically target uh, a proper unit. There's a AI feature here, so like um, F1, F2 here, so like this one here. Monsters will- whoop. Hang on. So like this is when you've got- uh, wait, that's not it. M is the auto, sorry. Uh, this is the AI, so like F1, monsters will fight individually on their own. F2, monsters will attack the target that the summoner is attacking. And then F3, monsters will follow the summoner. I don't know if that means they, they still attack, but um, I think I just have them on like free targeting for myself. But like if you have them on F2 and they'll attack the target the summoner's attacking, then you'll just focus fire a unit. Um, 
So, you know, that one there, you, you, if you attack a specific target that you want dead, that makes life easy. However, um, sometimes I don't really know how to, like, change your target either. It feels like you can't, you don't have, like, tab targeting or anything like that going on. It's kind of, it just aims at whatever it wants to. This game works a lot like Wildstar, that's for sure. With the way this is. <laughs> Um, alright, let me see here. Good old Wild Star Cross Leg. It's got it's got WoW's raid UI. Cross with Wild Star's skill usage. Ragnarok mobile playing auto um well, I guess Nino Kuni Ragnarok Mobile uh auto questing and just and then everything else is like summon as well. <laughs> if you like spreadsheets, you like this, I guess. Uh, but yeah, it is what it is, right? It is what it is.